Greetings, and welcome back to Totality Town. Welcome to the preview of lunar eclipses that are taking place here in 2025. Let me go ahead and start you with a short version of the story. Although both of this year's solar eclipses are only going to be partial eclipses, each hemisphere is going to have the opportunity to enjoy a really nice total lunar eclipse in 2025. Now, this video is going to be chopped up into chapters, so you can skip forward to get the details for whichever event you're specifically interested in, but also make sure you take a look at the show notes, because that's where I have links to maps for each eclipse, so you can get the exact time for each phase of each eclipse based on your exact location on the globe. The first eclipse of any kind here in 2025 is the total lunar eclipse, the night of Thursday, March 13th, into the morning of Friday, March 14th. It's the first total lunar eclipse anywhere on the globe for two and a half years now. So I've really been looking forward to this one. Lunar totality is going to last for over an hour and five minutes across the entire Western Hemisphere. And the moon will be high in the sky for pretty much all of those observers as well. A few of you over in Western Europe with low horizons might be able to catch part of the eclipse as the moon is setting in the morning. But those of you in far eastern Russia or Australia, just know that this map may be deceiving. You're only going to get a partial eclipse as the moon rises in the evening. So the western hemisphere truly is the place to be for this eclipse. The only bad thing is that this eclipse will take place truly in the dead of night. See this line right here? That essentially marks the places on the globe where the eclipse will peak at midnight. Now this also means that the moon will be nearest highest point in the sky for the night during the eclipse. Thankfully, the full moon in March is not as high up in the sky as it is at other times of the year. The moon will be 55 degrees up above the horizon along the locations marked on that map. But if you live east or west of that line, the moon will be lower in the sky during the total phase of the lunar eclipse. Photographers, if your goal is to pair this eclipse with an object in the foreground, you know, some kind of landscape, just know that this may be challenging. But the further east you are of that line, the easier your job will be. The March total lunar eclipse is not expected to be very dark because the moon does not touch the deepest part of the umbra, which would be the center of the circle that you see right here. So expect the color to be kind of towards a brighter red or a coppery color. I just read an article about a researcher in France asking for people to record some basic naked eye observations of this eclipse from wherever you are on the globe. And I'll try and publish a short video about that soon with some more details about how you can participate in some citizen science. Moving on, there'll be no eclipse of any kind anywhere during the summer months. The second total lunar eclipse of 2025 is on September 7th, and this time Asia is the place to be. This lunar eclipse is very, very similar to the one that happened in March in terms of how long it'll last and how dark the moon will get, as well as how high up in the sky it'll be. But overall, the September event is going to be the better one of the two. The moon is going to be a little bit closer to us, and thus it's going to appear a little bit larger. And it also passes a little deeper into the shadow, which is why the September lunar eclipse will last an hour and 22 minutes total. The big difference between the two events is obviously the location and they couldn't be more different. Asia is where the eclipse peaks near midnight. Far Eastern Africa will experience the lunar eclipse just after the moon rises in the evening. And Australia will get the eclipse just before sunrise in the morning. So the most dramatic nightscape photos with the lunar eclipse and the landscape probably most likely going to come from Eastern Africa, Australia, or Japan. That wraps it up for lunar eclipses in 2025. I'll try to post quick recap videos for the eclipses I get to see this year. Now, there are details on the solar eclipse previews in a separate video. Please enjoy. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Again, 
Thanks for joining me here on Totality Town. Look forward to seeing you next time.